everybody. It's Tennille, but you can call me TT. Okay. I like to do real serious talks, but in a very fun way, okay? okay. So we're going to get to the business. We are here tonight, tomorrow, leading into this phenomenal entrepreneur, 50th anniversary of hip hop, Team Dash. We got so many people in the building. I'm going to let you tell exactly who you are, your connection to the event, and why you decided that this was something that you definitely needed to support. Absolutely. So my name is Amber Newman. I'm the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club. And so I am connected to this event because my husband is one of the um, speakers and ambassadors for the event. LaMarcus Newman, he played in the NFL, former NFL player. Um, we most recently were the Humanitarian Award recipient last year uh, for the city of Houston. Girl, girl, I'm trying to get me one of them. I'm trying to get me one of them awards, okay? Yeah, you're working towards it. I see you working towards it. So, you know, um, I believe that um, entrepreneurship is really important. Um, due to my work with youth, I feel like it's important for us to really teach them, mm -hmm. like, entrepreneur skills. Because I feel like in the African-American community, that's not something that we were really taught. We were really taught to, like, go to work for somebody. And that's okay. That's okay. We were um, taught that longevity in a career was a real thing. I, I don't know. I don't know nowadays, yeah. but yeah. we we gonna listen to what you got to say anyway. You know, you know what? COVID COVID changed everything for everybody. I'm gonna tell you, COVID people don't want to talk about this, but COVID made us yeah. respect yeah. those people who had trades, yeah. those people that could fix our cars, yeah. those people who could doctor us up, if you will, holistically. Yeah. It it was crazy the shift yeah. that happened. Yeah, and that's true. And then we had the time. Everything slowed down, and so you had time to really figure out a plan um, because most of the time in life, everything is so rushed, so you don't really have time to like figure things out because we're just moving so quickly, just trying to make ends meet right. and just trying to just make things work. So COVID slowed everything down and gave us the opportunity, one, to spend more time with family and our kids and try to uh, figure out like what can we do to be a positive impact on the world. Most people that figured it out during COVID, now are millionaires right. because they saw a problem and then they found a way to fix it. And so um, I think that entrepreneurship so is you, something big. You heard that right. Remember, you know, I'm always talking about our journey and I'm always talking about our way through entrepreneurship and I'm always talking about small business and that you need to find what you like to do and what's going to get you to the next level. She said millionaires were created during COVID even though they like you to believe that there were several people that were struggling so bad and this, that, and the other. Find what it is that you like to do. Fill a space. If you create a way to satisfy a need beyond all else, yes. baby. Yeah, and make sure that that need is something that you can capitalize with on monthly. So you Tell can again. monthly. Yeah, make sure the need is something that you can fulfill monthly because then that then offers you the opportunity to have residual income monthly. A check while you're sleeping, baby. It, it is the most wonderful thing. People say all the time, you look like all you do is have fun for a living. But that's because I got a check coming in on the backside that I created a very long time ago. Yeah, and that's why she look young, because she getting them checks while she's sleeping. So that's that. <laughs> And that's why we get to attend fun events like this that are for great causes, that are going to help propel our community onto the next level. Let me tell you this, let me let me ask you this. If it wasn't for this event, if it was not for, you know, the hoopla surrounding it, uh, what, what would you be doing to satisfy a community need? So, um, I went to work today for the Boys and Girls Club, and so we Boys are... And girls, uh, Boys and Girls Club is amazing. Yes, and so, um, actually, I have been planning our celebrity golf tournament that will be happening on October the 6th. And That's your call to get involved. Yeah, well, actually, we're sold out, but you can come join us. It's saying you missed it, but that's okay. We have our Great Futures Gala January the 19th, um, and we have Jeff Bagwell and his wife, Rachel Bagwell, as our guest speaker. So uh, that still has availability. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need you to go and follow her on social media. You have been a joy, joy, joy. Okay. Tell everybody where they can follow you on social media. You can find me at official am, am 
Amber Newman uh, on Instagram as well as Facebook and so as as well as Twitter. So it's uh, official Amber Newman one on Twitter. Everybody go check her out. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you.